There are many services online to help you build free websites, including Wix, Weebly, Google Sites and WordPress. In this video, we will use the blogging platform Blogger as the base for our free website. It follows an earlier article called Blogging for Business and will show you how to turn your blogger site into a free website. The main difference between blog sites and websites is that blogs are mainly just a stream of blog articles, generally presented in chronological order from most recent to oldest, whereas websites have static pages which can be product related or linked to your contact or about us information. We'll build on our existing blog and start by adding a new post. Then we'll add a few pages, turning it into a more traditional website. Log in to blogger.com and sign in with your username and password. From the home screen, click the new post icon next to your blog's name. Next, add your title or headline using the box at the top of the page called post title. In the main editing window, type in your blog post itself. You can break up your posts or pages by formatting subheadings using the drop down list in the work bar. Highlight your subheading by selecting the text with your mouse and then choosing subheading from the drop down list. Use the bold and bullet list buttons to format your post as desired. Next, why not make your post more interactive by inserting hyperlinks to other blog posts or website pages? Highlight a word or phrase and click the link button in your taskbar. This opens a window where you can enter the web address of the blog post or web page you want to link to. If the link is to someone else's website, leave the box called Open in a new window ticked. Leave it unticked if your link is to one of your own pages or posts. Click OK when finished. Now we can insert an image. Click your mouse at the beginning of your blog post and then look for the little button that looks like a painting. When clicked, it will open a window where you can search for the image on your computer or from other sources. We will upload one from our computer. In the new window, click Choose File to Upload an Image, then navigate through your files to find the image you have prepared for your blog post. Select the image file and then click Open to upload it to your blog. It will now be in the Select a File page, so click on the image, then click Add Selected. Once you select your photo, it is placed in your blog post. Click the image and underneath it, a small menu will appear where you can click various links to resize, place and label your photo. Be sure to click properties because that is where you can add a title and alternative text. Your title and alternative text should be a simple description of what is in the photo. Once you've completed these steps, you can click elsewhere on your page and the image menu will close. The next step is to add labels to your blog post. Choose labels on the far right of the screen and enter your tags here. These are words that describe what your post or page is about. Enter as many as are appropriate, separate them by commas, then click done. Now you can schedule your blog post to go live later or publish it immediately. We will publish immediately by clicking publish in the menu across the very top of the page. This will take you back to your overview page. Here you can see all the blog posts you've published. And on the left of the screen, you can access a number of commands from your taskbar. Google Plus is a social network similar to Facebook. If you click on this button, you'll have the option to sign up for Google Plus if you haven't already, which will then let you share your new blog post amongst your circles and networks, or if you prefer, the general public, inviting them to read what you have just published. Your blog post is now published and you can view it by hovering over its title in the list of blog posts in your blog and clicking view. Your blogger site comes with a home page. It is the place where your latest blog posts appear. To transform our blog site into a more traditional website, let's add our first custom page. From your blog dashboard, click on your blog name then click Pages in the left-hand menu. Click the grey New Page tab that appears and choose Blank Page. The process is very similar to creating a blog post. The main difference is that the title of your page will appear in the website menu. Add a title, for example, About, and then add some information about yourself and your business. When done, click Options, which appears under Page Settings on the right of the screen. Under Reader Comments, 
Choose don't allow. Unlike blog posts, it is common practice not to allow comments on your static pages so that it is clear they contain official information from you, the business owner. Click done and then if you like, as with blog posts, you can add an image to your blog. When ready, click the orange publish button at the top of the page. Repeat that process for your contact page and any other pages you require. After publishing a page, you come back to the Pages screen. When you're ready to add your pages to your website, click the drop-down box next to Show Pages As and choose Top Tabs or Side Links. Top Tabs will show your pages as menu buttons across the top of your website. This is the most popular way to display page menus on the internet. Your pages will appear on your website in the order of the list. You can change the order by clicking and dragging the blue border on the left of the page name. Just remember to click Save Arrangements to save your changes. You can now visit your website as the public will see it. Click View Blog in the top of the screen. Notice that you now have a number of tabs below your blog name which link through to the new pages you've just created. You can return to your main website administration screen by clicking Design in the top right of your site. Only you can see that link because you are logged in. Well done and good luck using your new website to promote your business.